previously reported that the RAF has operated um, on a financially unsustainable model for a number of decades. In recent years, the long-term liabilities of the fund have become the government's largest contingent and liability. The fund has also experienced liquidity challenges as claims against the fund had outpaced the growth in the RAF uh, level. The RAF has been reporting annual deficits since 1981. The model that the RAF operated on was centered on litigation, with 99% of the claims settled just before trial. The legal costs had been growing exponentially over the years, from 800 million in 2008 to 10.6 billion in 2019. The board and management wasted no time in tabling the mandate to turn around uh, this situation. We are pleased to announce progress in the following areas. We have achieved a significant reduction in administrative costs of more than 7 billion rand in the 2020-2021 financial year. The RAF has, for the first time in many years, posted a surplus of 3.2 billion. So investment income has increased by 152% year on year from 62 million rand to 157 million. Finance costs have decreased by 62% year on year from 263 million to 900 million. Reads of execution have reduced by more than 50% through a legal strategy and stratification of the debt book. The short-term liability has reduced by 2.2 billion from 17 billion to 14.8 billion. Current assets have increased, including cash position by more than 4 billion rand. More importantly, the RAF has adopted a more appropriate accounting treatment for social benefits in line with its mandate than the insurance contracts previously uh, employed.